Hi everyone, Pack Prez here. We're gonna do a quick video today that shows you how to pin up your UCS system because you just bought a U-Pin expansion pack. The first thing I need to figure out is what is my key number and what's the pinning related to it? So what I'm gonna do is look and on my key stamped is a key number and in this case, my key number is 55413. Then I'm gonna head up to Packlock's website, go in there and decode my key number to find out what pins I need. And I find that what I need is a 224132. From there, I'm ready to take my expansion pack and start pinning up those cylinders. First thing we're gonna do is insert our key into the cylinder and then loosen the screw with our 1.5 millimeter wrench. Then turn the key slightly so that all the chambers are open. Now, I know I need a 2, 2, 4, 1, 3, 2. You always start pinning towards the front of the cylinder closest to the key itself. So I'm going to grab a 2 and realize that there's actually a tapered end to these pins. One side has a taper to it, the other side is completely flat. I want to put the tapered side into the cylinder first. So I'm going to drop in this number 2 pin into the very first chamber just wiggle the key a little bit to make sure it drops in properly. My second chamber needs another pin too, so I'm going to do the same thing. Find that bevel side and drop it in. Wiggle it to make sure it goes down nice and flush. Now my third chamber needs a number four. So I'm going to grab that number four pin. They get a little bit longer as the numbers get bigger. And I'm going to drop it into that third chamber. Now I need a number one, which is the smallest of the pins. Again, finding the tapered side and dropping it in to my fourth chamber. My fifth chamber needs a number three. I find the tapered side and drop it into the fifth chamber. And finally, I need one last number two. I'm gonna drop that number two into the sixth chamber, tapered side down, and I'm ready to go. Now I'm gonna do a visual inspection, and this is important as well. Make sure that all of your pins look flat and they all look level. And if they do, the easy test is to see if the cylinder will rotate. In this case, it does. Now I'm gonna rotate it all the way back 180 degrees and then test and make sure that my cylinder will work. Now that we've tested and we're happy that the key and the cylinder are working properly, the last thing to do is tighten down the screw. Take the 1.5 millimeter wrench, tighten it down until it's snug. Even give the cylinder a little bit of a torque like I did to make sure that this screw should end up being flush at the top of the cylinder. Do a final test and you're all set to go. All right, so now we've done it. We've got our U-pin cylinder that's now been keyed up to my key number, that 55413. One of 20,000 unique key numbers that you can have. Now I'm ready to take this cylinder and put it in any of these UCS products from Packlock and expand my UCS system. All done by you, all done within a matter of minutes, the right padlock at the right place at the right time with UCS.